castling is a good move because it brings your king into safety and it also brings your rooks into play. Now castling to the queen's side is in this case is not a good idea because it, it's, it's exposing your king, defeating the purpose. So back here again, notice how the king has moved two squares either to the right or to the left and the rook is moved to the other side of the king. The rules involving castling are fairly straightforward. You cannot castle into or through check. Let's say we had a position such as the following, where if you moved your king to c1, castling on the queen side, that would be check with the bishop on a3. Notice also that you would be castling through the d file where the queen is defending d1. You cannot castle through check or into check. You can also not castle if either rook or the king have moved during the game. So if this rook has moved during the game, you can no longer castle. If the king has moved, you can no longer castle to either side then. You can also not jump over a piece. If you happen to have a piece on this square right here, you can now no longer castle to the queen side. It's a misconception that you can move the king to c1 to castle and then jump the rook over to d1, but that you cannot do. Castling has been around since the mid-1600s and was invented in England, and it is a way that um, it increases the ability for the king to move to safety and also adds more strategy to the game.